What's up guys, Josh here with Vulgalitis today, and it's been a while since I've done a video, so this is kind of exciting that I know I say it all the time, but I am going to get back in the process of making videos, you know, work and everything's finally settled down some, and I have enough time to start doing little things like this, and you know, making training videos and Q&As, so I'm excited to announce that, but what I'm even more excited to announce is my partnership with Man Sports. As you can see here, I have quite a bit of product, and this isn't even all of it that Man Sports hooked me up with and you know, kind of brought me on the team. And now I've used their products in the past. I really like their amino acid and their pump products. They also, I've used the Novadrin XT, which is an Arima stain product. Um, I've used those in the past, but I'm excited to try some of their new stuff, like the pep test, the game day, which I've recently started using on days where I want the caffeine before the gym, and it's awesome. You know, it gets you going. There's no beta alanine, which I'm not a big fan of beta alanine. For two reasons one i hate how it makes my skin feel number two it's not going to work and not do anything for you so those are the two reasons why i don't want it you know especially if you are paying for the products and you want to be paying for ingredients that actually matter and beta alanine i mean unless you're some sort of endurance cyclist it's it's just not going to be effective or probably what you're looking to do or have benefit you for what you're looking out of it looking for out of it sorry a little little mess up on the words there but yeah, um, their flavors are all awesome, and it's cool because most of their stuff is based off of candy, which I'm like the biggest fan of all candy, and especially nerds. Nerds are my absolute favorite, well that and candy corn, but candy corn drink would be kind of weird, but they do make nerds flavored products, which is the coolest thing, and it's like a very tart grape taste, you know, it tastes very similar to nerds, they also have a sour patch flavor, which is good, the Swedish Fitch, which is pretty good, the Starburst flavor, which tastes more like um, Smarties to me rather than Starburst, but you know, it's still good. The pineapple I ha and the fruit punch are the two flavors I have yet to try. I'm excited to open those up. They also have a Tiger's Blood, which is a coconut strawberry watermelon flavor, which is pretty good too. I, I drink that in the Amino right now and I use the Dorks or the Nerds, it's called Dorks, but it's the Nerds flavored pre-workout. And I know it's awesome. I do two scoops of the pump, and sometimes I'll do half a scoop of the game day. It just depends if I want the caffeine or not, and depending on what I'm training too. So I'm very excited to announce that. Um, also, I'm going to start working officially with the guys at MI40 for my training, and you know they're going to start doing my nutrition and my programming, which is awesome because I'm, I've decided on competing next year. I, I did say at the beginning of the year I was going to take this year off of competing. But in 2017, I'm going to be aiming for a Florida State bodybuilding show. Um, I'd like to come in as a light heavyweight. You know, I'd, a good stage weight for me, I feel like would be 190 to like one, if possible, 195. That would be amazing. But I know realistically, 190 would be a good stage weight. That'd be about 10 pounds. Well, about 13 pounds up for my last show. So, you know, be a lot bigger, a lot fuller. Work on some of my weak points, which for me... It's going to be my arms, my, well, kind of pretty much everything that's not quads. Um, so, yeah, and, you know, I'm very excited. Joe Bennett and I are good friends, and he's going to be doing all my programming. So, very excited to announce that and work with him. He's a good dude, one of the most knowledgeable people I've ever met. And it's cool because he wants to continue learning, you know. He always goes to workshops and camps and things like that to try to learn as much as he possibly can, which is awesome. You know, when you, when you stop wanting to learn, that's when you stop developing as a trainer or coach. And that goes for everybody out there, including myself. I just enrolled in a new continued education course. I'm always reading books, trying to find out as much as I can and learn as much as possible. Because I, I do want to be effective in what I do and I want to help people out the most I can. And the same goes for him when, you know, seeing that in somebody else, it definitely makes me want to work with them. So that's kind of the video for today, guys. Um, I will have a training video coming up next week, and I'll be explaining some of my exercises and execution tips and all that good stuff. But if there's anything at all you would like to see, whether it be a Q&A video, like a day in life, eating, what, whatever it may be, please leave a comment in the box below, and I'll be glad to hopefully get around to it soon enough and make a video about it. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, Please like, and if you're not subscribed already, I hope you will follow me. And until next time, have a good one, guys.